Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Oblivion. So last time we ventured inside Sanctuary to get our hands on the armor of Tiber Septim for mining, because apparently he needs the blood of Tiber Septim for some weird ritual thing he's doing. Frankly, I'm not entirely sure what the hell the guy's up to, but it's a little bit creepy. Anyway, we also need to go back and speak to Joffrey about the broom of gate that we closed. Sir. Hello? I need to talk to you. What soldier are you two soldier. talking about? I, Blade Maiden, I'm eavesdropping. What's on your mind? Cloud Ruler Temple is home to the Blades, and has served us well. What you dealing with, your hand? I fear an assault. Mythic Dawn, oh, my lord. Daedra, I would speak maybe with both. You. Wait, what? We Please, must Blade, be ready. Say what oh you my god. I to value your judgment and your experience. I am no lord yet. Your wisdom does us all a great play service. Martin for a while. You know what's we screwing you've ruined one everything. One my progress on the Mysterium Xarxes is slow, I'm afraid. Yeah, no How shit. How goes your search for the armor of Tiber Septim? Well, I'm back, ain't I? What do you think? I got it. The Septim blood may flow through my veins, but you have the soul of a hero. I the know. The armor of Tiber Septim himself. Joffrey will be amazed to see it. You can reassure Joffrey that I will not destroy the armor. All I need is a scraping of Talos's divine blood. Creepy. The blades are as touchy as priests about relics of Tiber Septim, it seems. <laughs> as touchy as priests. That sounds dirty. What else can I do to help? While you were gone, I've made some progress in deciphering the Mysterium Xarxes ritual. About damn time. The third time. item we need is a great Welkin stone. You may have run across lesser Welkin stones. They're fairly common in alien ruins. But a great Welkin stone will not be easy to come by. They have been plundered one by one over the years due to their great value to mages and occultists. There is only one place that is rumored to still contain one. That's convenient. The ruins of the Aeliad city have misgarkened. A place where many have perished seeking its great stone. But nothing else will do, so you must succeed where all others have failed. Maybe I'm the main character. I built a career out of succeeding when others failed. Tell me about this misgarkened. The capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms which flourished in the Cyrodiil before the rise of men. It is said that the ruins are still haunted by the vengeful spirit of its last king. True or not, it is not a place to enter lightly. Be careful. Don't worry about me, bro. I don't need to be careful. I have the maid of death with me. Okay, you tell me about the Great Welkin still. The pinnacle of Aeliad magic. Once, every Aeliad city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The Great Stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. g g g g Rot roll raggy Ah, uh, yes, great. Tell me about Miskarkand. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive Aeliad ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the Aeliad ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Psh, reading? I don't think so, buddy. That's not gonna happen. Be careful, my friend. Well, we'll all have to I remain extra brave vigilant. Many dangers already, but, but enough chatter. Back to our duties, to be eh? Taken lightly. May your sword always strike true. Yeah, occasionally, and mostly though it just beats the shit out of me. Okay, well anyway, very quickly, we are gonna go speak to Joffrey, and then we're gonna be starting another custom quest mod, because I don't wanna be jumping straight into another Aeliad Ruin, since that's pretty much what we did last episode. Wait, what? What the hell is Joffrey? Oh, it's pointing towards Miss Carpenter. <laughs> Damn, good that's morning, uh, sir. It's a good job I checked that before going running off into the distance and finding out that we were chasing down Miss Carpenter instead of Joffrey. Because that would have really, really sucked. Where are you hiding, you cubal bastard? There have you, you are. Captain Bird and his men close the Oblivion Gate yet? What do you think? And where are you going? Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. <laughs> I doubt it. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable. The guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. Ah, I remember this quest. 
It's optional. Basically, you have to go and shut down an Oblivion Gate outside of each major city. And for each one that you do, you get like an extra two guards. Literally only two in the final battle. Now, it's kind of cool getting some guards to fight alongside you, but it's a whole lot of work and Oblivion Gates are boring. So we're probably not going to do it, because like I mentioned, I think it's optional. We'll just bring a bunch of followers with us and have a ginormous battle that way. Anyway, what else can I do to help, old man? Keep working on obtaining the items Martin needs for the ritual. Everything else is just buying time for us to get the Amulet of Kings back from Mankar Cameron. Everything else is just gravy. Am I the only one that was really hoping he was going to say that? Eh, hey, yes, screw it. Let's ask about the armor. You have earned a place of honor in the rolls of our order for recovering the holy relic. Yeah, okay. You told me basically nothing about it, thanks. And we'll ask him about Boris. I'm glad to have Boris here. He guards Martin night and day. His way of atoning for the death of Emperor Uriel, I suppose. Wait a minute. You put the guy who failed to protect the Emperor in charge of bodyguarding the soon-to-be new Emperor. Am I the only one that sees a problem with that? You idiot. You should speak to the rulers of Cyrodiil as soon as possible. The danger to Bruma is growing by the day. I don't think we're going to be doing that, buddy. Maybe we will, maybe I'll change my mind, but yeah, it's just literally, it's just shutting a bunch of Oblivion Gates to get like 10 guards total. It kind of really sucks. Anyway, next up, we're going to start a new uh, quest mod. I believe we have it here somewhere. So, oh, there we go. Legends of the North. I recently overheard conversations about an old legend concerning great treasure that is supposedly hidden somewhere in the northern Cyrodiil. People are speaking of an old man in Coral who might possibly have some information regarding these stories. From what I've heard, this man enjoys his drink a little too much, so perhaps the local hotels or talons will be a good starting place in which to find him. And yeah, I believe I know where he's going to be. I think he's in the Grey Mare, because I remember seeing him in there last time we were dicking around, so... Yeah, we're gonna go speak to him very quickly, and we'll start the Legends of the North quest. And this one, as you might imagine, is the one which adds the werewolves all over the place. And as I said, one werewolf was incredibly tough for us, at least in the early game. But you know, we did kill like 20,000 of the bastards last time, so... I'm thinking we're now strong enough to actually take on this quest finally. Is this the Grey Mare? Yes, it is. That was convenient. I had no idea it was here. Well, alright then. And yeah, we actually went in here before at some Afternoon. point. I think it's this guy. Sir. Hello. Oh, go away. Can't you see I'm drinking? I am so old. And no, I can't. Legends of the North. Ah, you're the second person this year to ask me that. Somebody else was interested in the old northern legends a few months back. Really? Sounds like we got some competition here. If I see that guy, I'm gonna kill him, just so you know. Really? And who might this be? A young fella named Goliath Novallo sat here, and we talked for hours about those legends. <laughs> he, he wanted to know everything I knew about them. Oh, bet he did, buddy, and you sang like a canary, didn't you? And what do you know? Legend tells of an ancient alien ruler, known only as the Ice King, who, after decades of tyrannical rule over his subjects, was forced into exile. I see. It seems that there was a massive public backlash to this tyranny, followed by a revolution which forced him to flee his realm for fear of his life. Apparently, the tyrant managed to escape with the entire wealth of the city in his possession, leaving his subjects destitute and starving to death. What a dick. The story goes that, in addition to the people's wealth, he also escaped with what was the most powerful sword and shield in alien culture at the time. Now, it is believed by some that this Ice King still exists in some form or another, high up in the Gerald Mountains somewhere. Go on. But as to where exactly, well, nobody knows. It is said, however, that he still to this day continues to guard his stolen wealth. More naturally. Forever protecting it from the prying eyes and thieving fingers of would-be adventurers and treasure-seekers. Like me! So, 
you can see the problem. No living soul, as far as we know, has any knowledge of the exact location of the Ice King's final hiding place. A likely story, old man. Including you, I assume, or are you the Ice King? <laughs> Including me. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what would you suggest, genius? There's not much I can suggest, other than a painstaking, inch-by-inch -inch systematic search of the Gerald Mountains on foot. Although... Although? What are you hiding? Spit it out. Well, you could try to pick up Novallo's trail. He said he was going to take his family and try to find these treasures. He took his family on a dangerous mission? What a moron. Tell me more about this moron. Well, he sat right across from me here and kept me talking of these legends all night. <laughs> he kept my tankard full of ale, too. You drunky. By the time he realized that he'd better get back to his family, the early dawn sunlight was starting to break through the windows. Know that feeling. He was fascinated by what I was telling him, almost to the point of obsession. But, well, as long as he kept plying me with drinks, I kept talking. I bet you did, you sluts. Okay, and what else did he say he was gonna do? The last thing he muttered as he staggered out through that door was that he was going to make his family the richest in all of Tamriel. Find the rich guy. Got it. He said that he was going to take his wife and baby daughter on a great quest that would change all of their lives forever. Or get them murdered horribly. And then he was gone. Out into the chill morning air he went. And I've never seen him since. <laughs> it was the first and last time I ever did see him. I don't trust you, old man. You know, I often think about that young man. And I wonder if he ever did find his fortune up in those mountains. Hmm. I hope he did. He seemed... Honest. Unlike me. Okay, are you ever gonna get to the freaking points? Like, holy shit, where can I pick up the trail? Hmm, that's a good question. I know! They're long gone now, so it won't be easy. Picking up on a trail as cold as this is no small task. Especially when you're not really helping me, you dick. I suppose you could check out their home here in Coral. Maybe you could find something there that would give you a clue as to where they headed. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Mind you, unless Navallo is a complete fool, he will have locked his front door. So make sure you've got a couple of lockpicks handy. Yeah, I think I got it covered. I don't know the exact whereabouts of his house, but I believe it's a very modest home somewhere in the southwest quarter of town. Okay, Southwest. Got it. Well, thanks, old timer. Now get out of my sight. Hold on a moment now. I've only spoke of one legend. There's another one, and you need to hear it. Well, don't that sound ominous as shits? Okay, <laughs> sorry, I ain't got no time for that. Yes, yeah, Grit, tell me. What do you know? It is claimed that the region surrounding the final hiding place of the Ice King is forever guarded by a creature unseen by any living mortal soul. Oh my god. It was rumored to be the creation of the sick mind of a dark mage who was once in the employment of the Ice King himself. Sounds like a pretty chill fella. Created as a loyal protector and guardian to the king, the beast was known in ancient alien legend as the Lycanthropus, or Oblivion Hound. In other words, a freaking werewolf. This demon was said to take the form of the largest and most terrifying werewolf ever to exist since the dawn of time itself. Case in point. 
It was believed by many that the Lycanthropus was permanently exiled to the Plains of Oblivion at around the time the King disappeared. Do you want? However, there were those who claimed that the creature in fact escaped with the King to a place unknown where it remains to this very day. Dun, dun, dun! I got the feeling we're gonna be me and that thing at some point. Thanks, now piss off. You're welcome, my friend. Take care, and good luck. Alrighty then. Take care. Stop talking. Ugh. Okay, people are creepy. Right, well, he said the southwest of town, I think? Which is this way. Okay, so we're looking for a modest home over here. We don't have a map marker, but... I think I remember his name? Novellius or something? I... I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, there's a Rangers Guild there. I did check that out briefly. I believe it's uh, added by Better Cities. And there is actually like a full Rangers Guild questline that you could do. I Like I mentioned, I did check it out, but... Uh, I don't know, it just seemed very annoying to me. There was like some quest where I had to look for a rat, and I was looking for a hole or something, and I, I got bored, so... Yeah, frankly, I just cut all that shit out. And that's not his house either. Is this it? No. Okay, bro, where the hell do you live? Wait, okay. Thought we'd lost Tabris for a second there. I haven't forgotten his name right, it was Novellius. I'm... Hoping I remember to actually install the Better Cities patch that makes it so that it doesn't break, you know, quest, uh, yeah, quest mods like this to add custom homes and shit, cause if I forgot, then we're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah. I don't know where the balls this guy lives. Hey! I finally found it, holy shit! That took way too- Okay, that's Tabris. You scared the shit out of me, buddy, don't do that. That took way too long, okay... Wait, that's about the Grey Fox? Wait, what? Why is there an Ifrit glove in here? Did we already come in this house? Because I remember we went into a house and we had to speak to the Grey Fox because we had to meet him here, and we took an Ifrit glove out of a chest. Is this that same house? That doesn't make sense because it's uh, a modded home. That's weird. And we found his journal, I assume that's what we want. And yeah, if you want to pause the video, read it yourself, be my guest. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. I can hear a voice. It's like incredibly quiet. Yeah, I can definitely hear a voice. I think it's reading the journal. I've never noticed that before. Do we have a journal update? No, we don't. Okay. So what the hell do I do now then? I... Why is there a tiny bear? That's weird. Am I missing something? Is there another journal? Is... I, I don't know. Let's look around the rest of his house just in case there's something else here, like a map. I don't know, but I feel like it must be the journal, but for some reason we haven't gotten updates. So yeah. That's, uh... That's a bit of a problem. Well, shit. Oh, okay, random journal updates. After searching the house of Gallius Novellius, I have discovered from his diary that he has indeed gone to search for the alien treasures. It appears that he and his family left for Bruma some months back. Perhaps if I travel to that cold northern city, I'll be able to find some clues as to where he may have headed from there. Okay, do we have a quest mark? Uh, no, we don't. So, we just need to go to Bruma and run around. Now, I'm sure I remember speaking to that old Nord that we, you know, originally got the quest from in the bar. In Bruma. I thought that's where you started the quest, but it's not, obviously. So, I'm thinking maybe we have to find him here, so yeah. Let's run around, see what the hell we can do. If not, we'll try checking in a bar or something, like this one, for example. I guess you know this is as good a place as any to start, so yeah. We'll check in here, maybe he'll be in here getting drunk again. Story? Or maybe I there'll be a shit ton of NPCs. Hello. You're all creepy. And why does that man have a bright red nose? Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Yeah. That's uh, What's that's some weird shit. Okay, well he doesn't seem to be in here. So yeah, I'm gonna check around, see if I can find the guy or find something else. But I'm sure it's him we're looking for. Yeah, balls to it. Let's see if the guard knows anything, cause I can't find the guy. Nope. You and Captain Birdshire gave them Daedra a good kick in the teeth. 
I wish I'd been there to see it. Oh, shut up. You'd have died. And you know nothing. Well, thanks. Stop talking. Stop talking. Screw you, buddy. God, I hate the gods so damn can you much. Spare a coin? Hello? I can eat for a day with a single coin. Okay, first of all, bro, you have a weird face. Second of all, I could be wrong, but that sounds like a voice I don't recognize, so... We gotta try giving this guy a coin. Thank you, kind sir. And that's a normal voice. Oh, huh. well, alright then. Sirach is a good healer. You son of a bitch. Blessings Get out of my sight, above. ripping me off of a coin, you don't even tell me anything. Okay, well, apparently that was a complete bust. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing apparently. here. Right I'm gonna just keep looking around, but I, like I mentioned, I'm sure I remember speaking to that old Nord here somewhere. Hi there. So we must be looking for him. But I don't know where he is. I'm so confused right now. Good day. Ah! I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Marina Carvain here in Bruma. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Damn, dude, don't do that. You dropped off the roof and ambushed me. My god! Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak to her in person. She also said to present you with this stipend as a taste of things to come. What's a stipend? My lady holds court from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening each day. That would be the best time to see her. That's nice, bro, I'm sure. Oh, okay. We got uh, some money. Thanks. Safe journey, my lord. <laughs> That guy dropped off the roof and scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. <laughs> and yeah, I assume a stipend is like uh, some kind of... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here, but like uh, a peace offering, I guess? Like, here's some money. Plenty more to come. What the hell is this shit? Weird. It's like a demonic altar for a sacrifice. There's blood and everything. It's got to be from a mod or something. I mean, obviously, because it's not in vanilla or oblivion, but I mean... I doubt better cities would have added that, because that just seems a little bit strange. So, yeah. Don't know what up with that. Also, don't know where the hell this old guy is. Like, holy crap. Wait, what's this? A spa? Hey, yeah, screw it. Let's go check in the spa. I mean, he's not going to be in here. This is obviously going to be added by better cities, but, you know, just to kill some time, and since I'm bored and can't find the guy... We'll just go look at the spa. Because why the ball's nuts? There's a weird looking wall. And is it just me or is. I hear people they talking. Hello? May the wind be on your back. You're a half naked man, sir. <laughs> I don't want to know why or how he got the name Warm Hands. Like, I really don't want to know. And there's booty we can rob in here apparently, but nothing I particularly want. Okay, good. We do have the Maid Thwide Loster again. But yeah, this is the least spa-like looking spa I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Looks like a cave mixed with random bedrooms. What it's is it? It's very, very strange. And this is evening. There's more half-naked men. Well, all right then. Oh, Hello. there's another one. Fantastic. Hey, well, at least we found the actual spa part of the spa. That's a thing. And yeah, kind of lost as to massage table. It's booked. You can book them. What the hell? Howl works the muscles of your shoulders, arms, legs, back, all over. If for two hours and afterwards you feel refreshed and uncommonly relaxed. What? <laughs> I just got a massage around. Wait, what? That's the old guy. What are you doing here? Well, hello again, my friend. <laughs> I had a feeling I might find you here. You figured I'd be in a spa getting a massage from a man. <laughs> what are you doing here? I just thought I might lend you a hand, old bean. I'm sure you could use another sword on this great quest of yours, what what? Oh, what 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 what? And I suppose I'm feeling somewhat guilty over young Navallo and his family. After all, it was I who told him of these legends in the first place. Yeah, you're a dick. I don't think I could live with myself if any harm should befall them. So the least I could do is try to help you find them and bring them home. You have a very saggy face, my friend. Okay, how did you find me? In a spa. From a different mod. Oh, well that wasn't too difficult, old bean. I figured that Bruma would have been a logical starting point for the Navallos to gear up and the like. 
And I figured that you'd probably figure it too. You looked like the intelligent sort to me, and so, well, here I am. Flattery will get you everywhere, sir, but I still don't trust you. Well, thanks. You stick with me, bro. Oh, how absolutely marvelous. I have a feeling that we're going to make a splendid team, you and I, old bean. Yes, old bean. Blah, 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 blah. You'll be pleased to know that I've been doing a spot of detective work. And I've learned of a priest here in Bruma who may be able to help us. A priest? Morning? My source tells me that this chap spoke with Navallo some time back. Our man then apparently packed his things and left town in rather a hurry. I think you should pop over to the town chapel here. Oh, seems a reasonable place for a priest to be, don't you think? Yeah, there are kids swimming pool. Zing! Me? What about you? <laughs> you dirty old perv. Well, I thought I might just sample a local brew in this establishment. Just a little petrol for the journey, what what? Oh, what 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 what? Sorry. No, I need you sober, you old drunk bastard. Oh, very well, if you insist. Bugger. Just fancied a pint of old cringeworthy too. <sighs> oh well. Lead the way, old bean. No alcohol for you until we succeed. What can I do for you? Uh, I didn't speak to you. Follow me, I guess. Right behind you, old bean. It's like Abe's Odyssey. Alrighty, next time we go visit a priest <laughs> with Johnny English and then hopefully head up into the mountains and die horribly to the werewolves. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like and I will see you next time for more Oblivion.